Okay. So in our household, our birthdays are January. Our oldest daughter is January. Then the middle daughter um, is March. Mm -hmm. uh, the youngest angel and her dad are... We are special. We are in April. April. <laughs> and of course, save the best for last. <laughs> Mama Bear's birthday is in May. <laughs> So this is gonna be a quiet one. Quiet one. We're not gonna say much. Happy Saturday to everybody. Happy Saturday from Yorkshire. South Today, Yorkshire. South Yorkshire to be precise. And it's 21 degrees. That's why we're all in our sunglasses. We're in a very quiet, lovely place where we came last time. Yeah. Looking at people just fishing in the lake taking it easy on light and yeah. relaxing yeah just had a coffee a breakfast actually we had breakfast sorry we couldn't show you guys <laughs> we wanted it to be private yeah. um, and nice um yeah because our middle daughter has completed uni so she came home um in the course of the week and um it was her first time coming to see the new house actually oh, well, yeah so we thought we'd bring her out and show her the neighborhood that's right and as eric said we came and explored this place the other day after a friend of ours showed us a new friend we've made in the area showed us so we thought we'd bring our daughter gabrielle to come and see as well and she likes it so at the moment she's out and about on the other Going side for a walk just with, discovering for herself yeah with her sister her younger sister angel that's right yeah we're yet to bring our oldest daughter as well um hopefully when is your birthday that birthday weekend we could do something yeah do you know what it's her birthday this coming saturday and therefore it's all about Ooh. hair it's gonna Ooh. be all about hair yeah it's gonna be all about yeah, more so in our household our birthdays are january our oldest daughter is january then the middle daughter um is march mm -hmm. uh the youngest angel and her dad are we are special we're in april april <laughs> And of course, save the best for last. <laughs> Mama Bear's birthday is in May. It's in May. So my birthday is the last in our household. So you can imagine yeah. how I get spoiled. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I make time for everybody's birthdays right from the beginning of the year. So, so we're quite lucky. Mm -hmm. We're quite lucky. We get to celebrate in the first quarter of the year yep. or just past the first quarter of the year. Yep. Into May. And I make so much noise about my birthday. Tell so me about it. It is what it is. It is what it is. She loves yeah. it. She loves it. And it's gonna be I'll make sure she has a special one this time round. You know? Yeah. As always. As yeah. always. And I requested for something nice mm -hmm. for my birthday gifts, which you guys will get to see what it is. Yeah. I'll be doing the reveal. Yeah. I'll trust do, me to make it happen. I'll do the I'll reveal. make it happen. Oh yeah. But she deserves it. Trust trust Kwame Cash. She it deserves happen. it. So yes, we'll make it happen. <laughs> I guys think, this is what we're on about every time every time yeah. it's our birthday we make sure it's special pardon me sorry but hers is extra special yeah. why because she is the last she celebrates hers and last. she's a queen queen yeah. of the castle in it yeah. she's the queen of the castle so know? we make it special for her yeah. definitely so we celebrate the king 
we celebrate the princesses mm -hmm. and then of course and the then we queen, the queen as well. takes her time <laughs> to celebrate her birthday definitely definitely and when you when when you're married to kwame cash just no imagine. no worries he pulls all as, as Sarkodie the strings. would say money no be problem money no be problem <laughs> <laughs> so we make it we make it flow money no be oh, problem yeah, money no be problem <laughs> look guys these things <laughs> look saying them is free of charge that's right okay? saying them is free of charge as christians as believers the bible says that our uh, death and life lies in the power, in the of, the power of the tongue so declare greatness into your life declare you know big things into your life yeah so but, when you hear us speaking like this yeah we are speaking things into being but more importantly let me let you in on the secret as we say it they become how do they become as we say it we think it we feel it and they become so whatever we're so talking we about we are it. it yeah we are it it's a spiritual law and this is what we've been trying to teach since 2014. I mean, we discovered personal development way back in two, 2007. Hey, and we've actually, then, yeah, just, just 2007, two or three, 2000. Four, four ish, yeah. Or way back, if I want to go way, 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 way back, it was in 1998 that I bought Tony Robbins CDs. Mm. 1998. But the actual studying of it and becoming it fully was around 2007 ish. And that's when we, 2003, yeah, as you said. That's when we started actually practicing it. So when we say these things, we are living it. We are pronouncing it. We are manifesting it. So it's really important. Um, we're not just joking. We really mean it. Yeah. If she says Kwame Cash, yes, I am Kwame Cash. If I say she's the queen of the... He's the money, he's the money that, machine. That, it, the money it, it happens. Machine. It happens. <laughs> so declare whatever you want. Make sure that you feel it. What you feel what you're saying. Make sure that you live it by taking the necessary actions that will help you manifest whatever you desire. Yeah, and I like what scripture says, this, the definition of faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Evidence, the evidence of things not, not seen. seen. So even though you haven't seen it, you, you hope for them. That's right. And therefore you speak them into being. And as you speak them into being constantly, regularly, as it becomes a part of your life you realize that your very vibrations and frequencies begin to align with all these things That's and right. trust me the stars align in your favor and the law of attraction god begins to release them into your life yeah. so when it comes to success or money or wealth in, wealth, this, in this sense it's yes. relative everybody has their own measure of what they think success is or what how much money is enough for them and things mm -hmm. like that uh -huh. funny enough so, we're discussing it with the kids when we're having breakfast yeah. like what is wealth and we're looking at a few pictures of what the western culture defines as wealth yeah. and we started talking about success being relative and the fact that let's say a farmer somewhere in mexico or in africa might have a lot of cattle farms and they are happy that is their definition of success and wealth somebody yeah, and wealth. wealth somebody might be able to let's say have access to a river every single day a child going to swim in the river that is their success that's their happiness so we're saying that in essence desire to have more that will make you happy but do not compare your success with someone else's else's success absolutely to determine your happiness or your joy on earth yeah so strive to have more do more be more yeah but not at the detriment of your happiness yeah that's that's all that we're discussing this morning and i uh, yeah. th they came with brilliant ideas and i'm like yes we brought these kind of children up well yeah. you know they're not children anymore because anyway. yeah. somebody might have a billion dollars sitting yeah. in their bank account yeah. and they're not happy you might just have the odd hundred you know hundreds of pounds or a couple of thousands of pounds sitting in your bank account and you're so happy but your mindset it could be could even be more That's right. than this billionaire so yeah. they might have the physical cash but the mindset and they could have earned it you know you know there are people who win the lottery oh, yeah. they become millionaires overnight the mindset is not necessarily a million dollar mindset That's and right. that is why people sometimes win the lottery they make all this money and within a short space they lose it you know a short period of time yeah. they've lost all the money mm. so it's all about the mindset it's all about how you feel 
on the inside and as i'm saying you know you might have a couple of thousands a couple of hundreds sitting in your bank account but you're so happy you're so content you're you you feel fulfilled in your own life and that is your success that's right that's your success so and sucks. when you hear us talking yeah. about things like this um don't be judgmental no, um no, no, no. Success, know, success yeah. is relative, as we keep saying, and it's not just the amount in your bank account that determines your success or your wealth. As Marie keeps saying, it's a mindset thing. It's a mindset thing. So don't dwell so much on the money in your bank account, but what are you doing that will make you happy and also impact your society? Because if you are successful and you're not making any effect or having any impact on your society, let's say your family, your environment, those near to you, then you're being selfish. That's how I see it. Your success, your wealth, everything that you God blesses you with, you should be able to bless others with it as well. Hey, yeah, she's my, dressing me up. My husband looks there you go. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much, my darling. This is how we spend our weekend. This is how we spend our weekend. And to the glory of God, it's our 25th wedding anniversary in a few months. Can you imagine? Someone saw me yesterday when I went to the choir practice. And uh, she said, oh, you don't look your age at all. You've got three children with these ages. 22, 21, 15. You don't look it. I'm saying it's to the glory of God. It's by these steps, you know, making yeah. ourselves happy every day, I taking mean, it I, I, easy. Yeah. That's what's made us. I, so, I, yeah, I, I look at my girls. Yeah. Like our oldest is 22. Yeah. The middle one is 21. I look at them. I look at myself and I'm like, ah, did I give birth to these? <laughs> like they're women now, you know? They are. Did I give they birth are. to these they girls, you are. know, these young women? Um, they are. But it is what it is. It's and about, it's God about. Has been so faithful. Yeah, being grateful and just taking it easy in life, not being <laughs> too. <laughs> we've oh, got, no, we've got a bee, that? yeah. I've got a bee just flying way past. It likes our Was perfume. that a bee? Yeah, that's a bee. It likes our perfume, what? isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it, it almost went into my mouth. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's about taking life easy, not putting too much pressure on yourself, and knowing that God has got you. God has got your back. God is in control. In the end, all things will work perfectly well for you because you believed in Him yeah. and you are taking steps towards your success you're not yeah. just waiting for god to drop it in yeah. your arms adjust your mindset guys. that's it adjust your mindset adjust it shift and, it and speak big <laughs> it, it's it's speak called a big. paradigm shift and yeah. marie will tell you about what paradigm shifts are speak big paradigms a paradigm shift is just you making that conscious decision mm -hmm. it's like a light bulb moment that's it when you walk into a room and the room is dark there's no way light is going to come into the room until you take action to press to the light press switch. That. And the minute you press the light switch, the light comes on in the on. room. The room is illuminated. You can see your way around. That's just how life it's is. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So, so it's, it's about you making that choice in your life that I'm going to be successful. I'm going to take these steps towards it. Straight from that, the universe kicks in and it's happening. You have ideas, you have people. You know, normally when the student is ready, the master will appear. So when you make that choice, you find people who will come into your network to help you achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah. So just turn on that light bulb in your, in in your, your mind. mind. That's in it. In your mind. Turn on the light bulb in your mind. And oops. It's a train. There you go. Yeah. And then once you've turned on the light bulb in your mind, begin to align your thoughts, your feelings, mm -hmm. your actions, yeah. your lifestyle, and everything to exactly who you want, you to, want be to be and who you want to become. Let me tell you guys something. Beginning of, towards the end of, uh, obviously with the whole shift in the world mm. with coronavirus, yeah. and towards the end of last year, I said to Eric, 2022, like I'm transforming my lifestyle. Uh -huh. I am shooting off straight into luxury. Like everything about me has to be top notch and luxury. I didn't know where the money was going to come from for me to even, you know, get the things that I, I, I like. Yep. And as a woman, it could be anything from handbags, shoes, my perfumes, my makeup, you know, to even the things I use at home, to our plates, what we eat from. Cutlery. Cutlery, yeah, yeah. glasses, etc, etc. The things that make you happy as, as a human it. being, That's basically. It. And then even down to 
like the places I'll have my, you know, a, a place of recreation. So like where we are sat at the moment. So I said to Eric, you know what, from 2022 going, we're going to do things with intention. With intention, like we're going to, we're not just going to do things anyhow anymore. Our kids are old now. The two of us are now living our best life. Like our youngest daughter will say, mom, you've got to live your best life. So we're living our best life. And the moment we started shifting our mind to things like that, our minds to things like that, um, we started, you know, building our vision board around things like that. Guys, trust me, God has made it happen. It is happening. We are still on the pathway. And everything we're doing now, even down to how we found where we are living now, the location where it is, which has brought us to a beautiful place like this, um, the kind of car we're, we're using now, we're driving now, um, even down to our clothing. Everything. You know, Everything, Everything, how we've set up our home. Everything, yeah. Um, down to, as Eric was saying, the plates, the cutlery, the this, the that. We decided to, I even said to Eric, as, you know, as simple as the cutlery. I said, we're going to use gold cutlery. And when I say gold, I'm not talking gold as in gold, gold. Gold, whatever. Gold plated. Is it gold plated? Or, it's gold plated, yeah. Yeah. We're just going to use gold. Just to create that ambience and create that atmosphere of, of luxury and wealth and you know and right now in our own way we're living our best life and we have to and we keep we saying like whenever we're praying or we're talking we keep saying to god that this is just the beginning we're even believing you for more we're trusting you for more not that we are ungrateful we're very super grateful but we know there's more and therefore we reach out for more we ask for more because you're a big god and these are things that god himself wants us to enjoy exactly you know so um yeah change your paradigm once upon a time a few years ago we had a certain paradigm we've now decided at our ages now we're changing our paradigm again we could wake up tomorrow morning and decide you know what we're changing our paradigm it's all about Continuous improvement. Continuous improvement, exactly. Uh -huh. So when she talked about vision yeah. boards, we have had different types of vision boards in on our journey. And when we started our journey way back in 2003, 2000, we had a certain type of vision board, which we'll be teaching in another series how to actually make vision boards or what they mean. And then in 2007, we changed our vision board. So each stage of your development, have a new vision, have a new vision board that goes with it. And now, I think it was in 2020, we made a vision board and defined the type of property that we wanted to live in, the type of area that we wanted. We put it down and it manifested in 2022. So everything that we put on our vision boards, they do come to pass. If you believe them and if you take the actions that is necessary towards them, it will surely come to pass. Absolutely. I mean, you can be so intentional. Yeah that you can have a vision board for every facet that's right every tiny let's, aspect. let's, let's talk about the property because that's so specific we have to do the, a, a the, separate the, video we'll do a separate video separate now video. but the specific property that we wanted to live separate in separate video we defined the elements of everything we wanted and when we were going to for, for that look or when we we're going for the viewing of that property everything as we described was in there so be very intentional as marie said in your actions or in what you want define them specifically be specific and be intentional about what you want and definitely they surely come to pass yes because it is in you being specific that when you go to god in prayer and you're asking because remember matthew 7 7 says we should ask mm -hmm. and it shall be given ask ask and you shall be given yeah. that's a principle yeah yeah. The minute you ask, God can never go contrary to his word. Mm -hmm. Because then let's go back to Numbers 23, 19. Mm -hmm. Where scripture says that God is not a man that he should lie. Mm -hmm. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Mm -hmm. Has he said it and will he not do it? Mm -hmm. So if he is telling you to ask, then you go to John chapter 15. The whole of John chapter 15. Mm -hmm. Where Jesus repeatedly asks us, to remain in alignment with him mm -hmm. and that if we do everything that we ask mm -hmm. so there's a principle of asking it's yeah. a it's a concept in itself it's and then, a theory and then let's in itself. dwell on matthew yeah. 7 8 
the eight after the seven seven where it says ask and it shall be given seek you find knock and the door will be open seven eight says as long as you ask you will receive as long as you knock the door will be open as long as you seek you will find so it's like it's telling you that you're not doing it enough because as long as you do it it'll come to pass yeah. so matthew 7 8 dwell on it and do exactly and it as goes Jesus on to is say saying. yeah scripture even goes on to say that if you haven't yet received keep asking keep asking don't think you're disturbing god no, now let's bring asking. that into our own lives and how i children relate with us mm -hmm. young children especially children between the ages of let me say three all the way through to, to about seven, eight or nine eight. yeah yeah they were like when they want something from mommy me. daddy wow. daddy can i have this daddy you daddy, said you would take me that? to mcdonald's but then daddy, you say wait and then they'll go back within 20 minutes they're back they're back but daddy you said but mommy you said aha right. uh -huh. and they, they they i don't want to use the word pester they keep asking and hammering until you get fed up and you honor that they, promise. They you consistent. release that promise for them. Now, if you give them anything less than what they asked for or what you less than what you promised them, they will go back to your own words and say, but daddy, you said this. Absolutely. But mommy, you said you give me this. Why? Let's say you, you, gave, you promised them um, a doll and you went and gave them something less than a doll. You ask, but mommy, you promised me that you give me a doll. In like manner, we should tell our Abba Father, but daddy, you told me you give me this. Look at my lifestyle. It doesn't glorify your name. So, let your promises come true. Exactly. Yeah. So me, guys, let me yeah. live the totality of, of, of your you promise. Are. Yeah. Let me experience the totality of who you are. Exactly. And never think that you know all the things you're asking for even if the material things god doesn't want you to have god them wants you god to have himself them. enjoys those things that's why he created them that's why he gave people the knowledge yeah. to create them so he wants you to exactly. have those you things. know you know our so desires asking, yeah, yeah our desires are the elements of god in us because he created us in his own image so whatever we desire god desires it as well that's the right. fine things of life god put that element in us for us to desire them after them that's right after all he created them yeah. so why not so and, guys and that's why you're going to be seeing me driving my bank why not very soon so have a nice weekend and <laughs> you will see us again but don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tips for more advice and our lifestyle just on just just on yeah, relationship marriage personal development life, life in general god bless you have a nice weekend <laughs>